Hi guys, Alexio here, formerly of Team Shady Pilgrims, and I'm back with another challenge for you. Uh, this was a challenge I wasn't looking for, a challenge I did not expect in my wildest dreams. It literally fell into my lap. So here goes. So on 15th of June, we had a race uh, in Naivasha. It was a, a gravel race. And in the build-up to the race, uh, it was announced that it was going to be a UCI qualifier event for, for gravels, gravel worlds. I didn't think much of that. I mean, graveling has never been my thing as such. Um, I, I'm one of those guys who thinks uh, a gravel bike is just a glorified hardtail. Give me a hardtail any day and I'll be a happy man. Uh, granted, if you are to have just one bike uh, to do everything, gravel would be the best. But for now, I'm still not sold onto it. Anyway, so they announced it as a UCI uh, qualifier. I mean, that just flew over my head. I never gave it any thought because in my wildest dreams, I never thought or even considered that I, or even was interested in qualifying for a UCI uh, gravel uh, event. But anyway, we go to the race. Uh, I'm racing for uh, a team called Team Aria Solar Energy. So if you're looking for solar solutions, uh, check them out. And the team director made so many uh, endearing promises to us. Oh, we'll get for you a kit. We'll get for you a high-tech gravel bike if you race for the team. And that's how I ended up on Team Maria. Anyway, <laughs> that's a story for another day. So I'm racing for Team Maria. Um, I've had a tough year, guys, in my personal life. And uh, I've just been, you know, fighting fires here and here, from fighting one fire to another fire. And um, yeah, I'd say that this was going to be my last event. I'll give it my best shot. So in May, I actually managed to put together two or three weeks of like really intensive training. And uh, I come to the race on the 15th of June and I give it my best. The race was tough. It was 100 kilometers with about 1,500 meters climbing. Uh, I took five hours. Yeah, that was an experience. The, most of the race went well. But between kilometers 60 and 85, there were three tough climbs. I think I walked uh, some of them, like partly, not all. You ride, walk, ride, walk. Anyway, but long story short, I finished. Out of 112 starters, I was 59th. Uh, and that was it. Uh, I packed my bag, my bike and went back home. So, a few days later, uh, a friend of mine reaches out and says, hey, by the way, I had your name being uh, announced as having qualified for the UCI. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Uh, and there was no communication from the, from the organizers at all. And I sort of like, just put it aside at the back of my mind, like, okay, I have so many other problems. This is not something that I'm gonna pay attention to. And then maybe three weeks later, or two or three weeks later, a friend of mine who we raced with said, hey, by the way, do you know you came uh, fast in the category and you're supposed to get a medal and a jersey? Reach out for, to the organizers. Uh, and pick them up. Now, I've 
I become more and more interested. And uh, I reach out to the organizers. They say, yeah, we're going to try and organize this for you. I ask them, what about this qualification? Uh, who's going to give me more information? Uh, just wait. Uh, you'll get an email from UCI. Again, I go back to doing my own things. Then four weeks after the event, I finally get an email from UCI. Dear Ryder, you took part in this event and you qualified. Apparently, I finished first in my age group. That's 50 to 54. And by virtue of that, I make the qualification for UCI Worlds. And now I'm so excited. Coincidentally, the day after I get that email, uh, the organizers reach out and say, hey, by the way, we have your medal and your jersey. So, and this is the medal. Beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So anyway, guys, um, now here we are. We have qualified. Uh, the event is on the 5th and 6th of October in Belgium, in a, a, a city called Halle, if I get the pronunciation right. Now the challenge is to get there. So typically, you know, uh, if this was the last year, I would have rallied and uh, gotten my act together and uh, known for sure I was going to make it. This year is a bit different. It's going to be more challenging uh, for me. First of all, what's the game plan? So the game plan is to be on the start line and give my best and finish the event. I've got no illusions of trying to go and be competitive and, and you know, uh, fight for positions. Um, I just want to show up and represent. Remember, we're going to fly the flag of Kenya. So the other thing I found out is that no Kenyan has ever qualified. I someone can prove me can 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 prove me, not really prove me wrong, but someone can uh, can check and 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 correct me. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. No Kenyan has qualified for the gravel worlds before this year. This year, nine of us qualified in the age groups. So anyway, um, what's the game plan? So the game plan, we have 64 days to 5th uh, October from today. My game plan is to have 50 days of intensive training and 10 days of a taper. Um, intensive training pretty me much means I'll try and ride every single day apart from Monday. Monday will always be a rest day. Uh, so on all days apart from Monday, I'll do at the very least one ride, mostly on my trainer. Uh, over the weekends, I'll try and get in a, a physical ride. In between also, there are going to be some events that I'm going to take part, and that will help me gauge uh, how my training is coming along. On top of the riding, uh, every week I'm going to do a, a one 10 kilometer run and a one uh, 1,500 meter swim. So I've been um, running and swimming and I don't want to stop because if those muscles go to sleep, getting them back is going to be, um, it's going to be quite painful and takes a lot of time and energy. So yeah, um, I would say when I was going for Cape Epic, uh, my FTP was about 280. Right now it has dropped to, I would say about 250. So the plan is uh, with this intensive 50 day um, training, I'm hoping to try and push the FTP to at least 70 
270. The target is 275. I don't think I can get to 280. Remember, it took me like almost a year's training to get to 280. Um, so I think that might be out of reach. But if I can get to 275, uh, that should be okay. The event in Hala for age groups is shorter than for the elites. The elites, I think, do 185 kilometers. For my age group, 50 to 54, uh, it's 135, I think, with about 1,300 meters climbing, which shouldn't be too hard. Uh, that's like a typical ride in Nairobi. If I go out on my road bike, uh, I will do about, yeah, about 120 and come back with about 1,600 meters climbing. So um, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's not anything out of the ordinary. So the stronger I am, the, bet the better I think I will perform because I don't see Belgium having hills like even Nairobi has. Anyway, I might be wrong. I've never been to Belgium. So yeah, so guys, uh, that's it. Uh, that's the training plan. Uh, I don't have a gravel bike. Um, and the rules say that you cannot use a mountain bike for the worlds. So the plan is to hire a bike in, if I get to Belgium. So guys, that's the training plan. So now, how do we get to Belgium? To be honest, I'm not very sure how I'll get there. This year has been quite tough for me. I'm broke, I'll be honest. Uh, I've just barely gotten over uh, Cape Epic, uh, the financial bit of it, just barely recovered, and then this comes along. And so it's, it will be a stretch to try and get there. You know, the Swahili have a saying, uh, they say, Mficha Uchi Hazai. Translated literally, it means if you hide your nakedness, you cannot give birth. Uh, but it basically means, you know, if you have a problem and you don't share it, then you can't expect to get help. So anyway, guys, I am humbly asking for your help. If you have a few shillings or dollars lying around, uh, I wouldn't mind uh, uh, you sending them my way. Uh, please don't feel obliged to, to, to help me, but uh, if you can, I will appreciate from the bottom of my heart. Uh, no amount is too little, no amount is too large. If you have 100,000 shillings uh, burning a hole in your pocket, send it my way, and uh, you can be assured it will go towards uh, helping me achieve this dream. Uh, that I have. The budget for the event is about $2,000. So that's about $1,200 for the ticket, $500 for accommodation of about five days, and uh, $250 uh, for the bike hire. Um, yeah. And apart from appreciating your support in exchange, I will try my best to uh, post uh, videos more frequently. Uh, they might not be as entertaining. Uh, hopefully they'll be informative. Uh, they'll update you uh, on my progress, uh, my training progress. And also it will give me a sense uh, or feeling that I'm somehow giving back. If there are any sponsors out there that want to partner with me um, and uh, I showcase uh, either your company or your product, uh, please feel free, feel free to reach out and we'll work uh, something out. So for today, that's all I have, guys. I'm excited about this. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if we'll reach 
uh, the start line in uh, Hala on the 5th of October. Uh, and apart from that, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our future videos. Share the channel with your friends. Let's, let, let us grow the channel uh, so that uh, it can reach out to many more people. So from me, guys, uh, hopefully will be, this is a dream uh, that I have for now that's keeping me going. Hopefully we'll be in uh, Halle on the 5th of October with your help. Uh, I'm sure we'll get there. And uh, that's it for now, guys. Till the next one. Stay tuned and stay shady. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.